it is the lazim, it is the shariat of this world that we have a, a father and a mother and we have children but in ahirat there's no father, mother, there's no children because the spirits when they are created it is not like that different spiritual father and mother, we put that aside but here in this world he could have created mankind reproduced us not from father and mother so he could have people are actually trying to do that now they've been trying to do that for so long but what a mercy it is Allah is not leaving us alone we may mess up our lives but in the children is a new hope not just for them, or for the, it's for us there's a hope for us because that child is coming up pure like what I said to our friend the other day Islam is saying original innocence is not believing in original sin and in Islam, every child before the age of reason, maturity, they are free from sin. And when they do something wrong, it is not written for them. It's written to the father and the mother, but that's a different story. Meaning father and mother, they are responsible to raise them properly. But the children, they are free. Free from sin. Innocent. And if they were to die they would be in the ranks of martyrs so when the child comes out Allah had created it in purity it is supposed to remind you and to pull back if you are too far into the world to pull back into the purity into the ahsani taqwim that Allah has created us with not leaving us alone the child is not pulling you towards dunya that way not for the mother, not for the father it must pull you towards everyone is saying what? even if they are unbelievers they say the miracle of life yes? the miracle of life wondering, understanding and admiring that so it's pulling us and it's reminding us it's not leaving us alone and it is showing Allah's mercy to us that he could have just said you are going to have children but it's not going to come from you it's going to come out from the earth like that or test tubes or fall down from the sky or one bird coming flying and then putting the baby there but you know it's coming from you must pull a man back to himself to awake a little bit to understand not only how fragile this life is but this life is now in your hands mother and father is in your hands and by extension this whole world, everyone you are responsible for because Allah has created only one race, the human race He didn't create race, uh, human race over here in this world together with some aliens or some lizards or There's one pointing to us Even with that, Adam salam and Hawa and we are one So how much more we have to thank our Lord, Alhamdulillah how much more we have to be responsible for our children how much more we have to be responsible from a young age to teach them about the love of Allah and the love of the Prophet not the love of this dunya they will pick up the love of this dunya like this or like that reminding to people also in this month our Sheikh is advising us saying give sadaqah 
This is the month of Safar. 700,000 Belas are falling. Saraka can save even the unbeliever. If you're an unbeliever but you give charity, you're generous, it saves it. And this is Allah's mercy. So give sadaqah every day. Doesn't matter the amount. Small, doesn't matter. But you are giving, putting it in there. And teach your children to give sadaqah. Before they go to school, give them some small thing. Put it in a box somewhere. After it's filled, go give anywhere that you want. Doesn't matter. We are not here asking anything. Let them, their first experience with the money is to put it into a box then later to put it into the hands of an orphan or a beggar or someone who needs it don't make their first experience with money to go to the store and to buy something that they want no to give inshallah then slowly you're going to teach them the love of Allah and his prophet and that way you will fulfill the responsibility because the father in every household is representing the prophet we don't talk about this too much whole world now running after women whole world is saying we're running after women to save them but whole world running after women to push them to hell Paradise is under the feet of the mother if the mother is a person of paradise. If she is a person from hell, paradise is not under her feet. But the father, the father is the one who is representing the Prophet ﷺ. Teach them some manners. The love will grow with adab. Inshallah. That way, when we're going to be questioned on the Day of Judgment, we're not going to say, I left them to the system to bring them up. We're trying to do as much as we can, inshallah. Wa min Allah, tawfiq al-fatiha. Amen. May Allah protect all believer fathers and mothers and their children, inshallah. From all evil eyes, may they be raised in the way of haq, and may they die, may we all die in the way of Haq and be raised with Haq, inshallah. Al-Fatiha. Amen.